Today we're going to show you how to reset the strain gauge and angle sensor on uh, a range of MT machines. It ranges from the new MT420 all the way up to the 10 meter, so you've got the 6, the 7 and the 9 that's in between. Um, first of all you want to make sure the machine's in a suitable condition so it's safe, everything works properly. Uh, make sure the tyres are pumped up to the correct pressure. Uh, you should be able to check that on the Morsley app if you don't know what your machine is. Um, you then want to make sure that you've got a stable load to lift because you're going to tip the machine to calibrate the SLI. So, alright, we'll crack on. First, first thing you want to do is just push the parachute button, just one push, and then within 10 seconds, you need to hold down the suspended load and the test button. And then it will come up with this. And then obviously turn your machine on. Then you want to make sure that the boom is in the lowest position and that the boom's all the way in, the parking brakes on, and that the wheels are straight and aligned. Then you want to press test again once and it will come up with another green icon. And then you want to take the boom all the way to its full height. press the test button and now you want to put the machine on maximum revs and then lower the boom as fast as possible and then just one short press of the test button again now we're going to be setting the strain gauge so again you want to make sure the boom's all the way in and all the way down press the test button once more now you want to hold down the parachute button while operating the machine to pick up the load. Making sure you put the full bar in so like five seconds just to make sure the machine is stabilised. Then press the test button once more. Now that's the strain gauge set so you just need to tally it in. Now just check the operation to make sure that the calibrations work correctly. 